Okay, today we're gonna to be looking at changing the window title of our terminal. So right here you can see by default it says terminal. Now you can change that in the settings here of what it displays up there by default. But let's say you want your script to change it. Now, uh, I've looked into this in the past and I just recently had a viewer ask me about it. And, um, and most of the time the answer I was finding was to run gnome dash terminal uh, I think it was dash dash title equals, and I'll say just hello world, which opens up a new terminal window and puts that as a title, but it doesn't modify the title of the terminal I'm in. So I finally found an answer uh, using the prompt command variable, uh, which I've gone over in a previous tutorial, and um, I'm going to do my best to explain this, uh, but... Um, we're using like escape characters, which I am not that comfortable with. So don't give me a hard time if I uh, say something wrong, but I'm going to show you what you type to modify the terminal title here. So we're just going to say prompt underscore command because we're going to modify the prompt command uh, variable. And then in here, we're going to put uh, a single quote and we'll say echo dash N E. And then inside quotations, what we're going to be echoing, and we'll also close our single quotes at this point. That's just how I do it. And we're going to start with an escape character. So we're going to say backslash 033, three, and then a square bracket. And according to my notes, um, this stands for escape, because we're using escape characters. Now, the next part is going to be a zero. And this is saying that we are going to be modifying uh, the string of the title. Because in a previous tutorial we saw that we used uh, prompt command and it would add a line before the uh, terminal, uh, or before your uh, command line. Well, this zero is letting it know that we're modifying the title of the window. We're going to go semicolon, letting it know that we're done with those um, uh, digital characters that are saying stuff and we're going to go into our string. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give another set of quotes and inside that whatever we want the title to be. So I'll just say filmsbychris.com. I'll even add the www because it looks better. Okay. And then we'll go outside those quotes and we will say um, now backslash 007 and that stands for James Bond. And oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, and from what I'm reading, from where I found this, it says this means non-printing characters. So I'm assuming that it's saying don't print this out to the terminal, just print it to the title, I'm guessing. If I'm wrong, go ahead and comment below. Just be nice about it. So now at this point, if you watch up here where it says terminal, when I hit enter, it now says filmsbychris.com. So that is how you can change that title. So once you get this down, you can go in here, and as long as you just change the string, we'll just say... Middle X 1000, 1000, there we go. So now it says Middle X 1000 up there. So uh, that's it. That's how you change the title of your terminal window. And I tried this and I'll show you now uh, in X term. Let me quickly just copy this code so I don't have to type it out again. And I'll pick here, we'll hit enter and you can see it works in X term too. I haven't tried any other terminal emulators, but since it works in those two, I'm thinking that it'll probably, for the most part, uh, work in most terminal emulators. So uh, be sure to visit the links in the description, my website, filmsbychris.com. The first link in the description should be a link to the post on this where I will have this code typed out. And uh, you can have a look at it. And I just want to thank you for watching and hope that you have a great day.